the idea, the key idea is what does the veil mean today in America? And what it means turns out to be uh, to overturn most of our ac accepted ideas of what it is. Um, if you start out by thinking that it's oppressing women, turns out it isn't so if you talk to the women themselves. Uh, it, it turns out to have a lot of meanings, but probably one of the, uh, as I say that, I also have to say that its meaning depends on what country we're talking about. If we're talking about America, it has many meanings and very rich and interesting meanings that women themselves define. If we're talking about Saudi Arabia, something completely different, completely different, because there, the key difference, women are not, do not have the right to choose to wear it, whereas in America they do. And that's probably at the heart of what I'm saying, that if you have, women have a right to choose what to wear, its meaning is something that they give to it. Whereas if it's something that somebody is imposing on them, then its meaning is set and fixed in stone, as it were. So that's the key difference, I would say. To put it bluntly, I, was, I had my assumptions, which were like everybody else's, that this means oppression of women. Now that's bad for women. So I was really surprised by my, by my findings. I stalked with women as I observed what women who wore hijab were doing. They were often very strongly committed to women's rights. It, so it steadily undermined all my assumptions about um, hijab meaning oppression or meaning that women were acquiescing or accepting the idea that they were second-class citizens, that wasn't the case at all. So it came, it, and it was my own assumptions, first of all, that were undercut from, <laughs> from me, that were overturned. I think it's, it's very important in, in countries like America and Europe or France or Britain where women are choosing and where there is a widespread belief that women um, who choose it are accepting oppression or second-class status, or else that they believe there's a widespread belief that women are being forced to wear it, and nothing I found suggests confirmed that. So I think really the basic teaching is for me is American women are American women. They may be Jewish, they may be Christian, they may be Muslim, but their, their heritage is uh, a society which believes in justice for all. And they pursue that, Whether, whatever religion they are, that's what the American heritage is. And as, as we know, you know, uh, Christianity too, and Judaism too, women have had to struggle to get recognized as equal. And in fact, they're still struggling. So, uh, so the, the, uh, a young American woman comes with these ideals of a country which which uh, f fought against slavery, fought for abolition, then fought for women's rights, and then fought for civil rights, and then for second wave feminism. So, you know, this is a country which uh, young people growing up here understand that this is a heritage to be proud of, this heritage of fighting for equality, as they understand too, those who, the, the, their religious heritage, the heritage that is very deeply meaningful to them and the heritage to be proud of. So what we are seeing when we see young Americans or American women in job, we are seeing really the fusion and the complete blending of two heritages which bring out the best in each, really. On a personal level, you know, writing is an extraordinary lo lonely process. And it took me 10 years to do the research and writing for this book. And um, you never know as you're working, is, uh, does, will anyone see the point of what I'm doing? So winning this wonderful award really helps me to think, well, it is maybe it is worth struggling, even when you have no idea. You know, as I said, my assumptions were being challenged at every moment, even if you have no idea if, it's, if, it's, uh, if you're going to find the answer. You know that you have to keep on fighting and try, struggling with yourself to find it. And I think it's worth the effort. And I hope it is contributing, and of course this award will help uh, in a way make this book available and better known to other people, and so I ho hope it will be helpful in that way.